boys and girls. I'm going to read you a story today about a certain little bird. And I don't know if you know what kind of bird it is, but take a guess before you start. Okay? It's called I'm Not Cute by Jonathan Allen. Baby Owl decided to go explore the woods. Nobody will bother me, he thought. Then along came Rabbit. You're so cute, Baby Owl, said Rabbit, and so small. And Rabbit gave Baby Owl a great big hug. I'm not cute, said Baby Owl, and I am not small. Look at Baby Owl. He is not very happy. He is very mad. I am a huge and scary hunting machine with great big soft and silver wings. Then along came Fox. Look at Fox. Fox is coming. I don't know. If I was a little bird, I'd be afraid of a fox. But let's see what the fox does. Doing a little dance, baby owl? Asked Fox. You're so cute and so fluffy. And Fox gave baby owl a great big hug. Oh, he's patting him on the head. And he's giving him a big hug. But remember, does Owl like hugs? I don't think so. Let's see what happens after that. I'm not cute, said Baby Owl. And I'm not fluffy. I'm a huge, sleek hunting machine with great big sleep-in-the-dark eyes. So see his eyes? And he wants to be scary. Does he look pretty scary there? <gasps> Looks like a ghost. Then along came Squirrel. There's Squirrel. You're so cute, baby owl, said Squirrel, with those big baby eyes. And Squirrel gave baby owl a great big hug. <gasps> oh, I don't think owl is happy at all. Oh no, I'm not cute, and I don't have baby eyes. Boy, is he upset now. Look at that. Oh, very upset about that. Then along came Mama. There you are. How's my baby owl? asked Mama. It's not fair, said baby owl. Rabbit, fox, and squirrel. I'll say I'm cute, but I'm not. He doesn't like being called cute, does he? Hmm, he's kind of different, isn't he? Most people like to be called cute, and so do animals. Of course you're not cute, baby owl, said Mama. You're a huge, scary, sleek, sharp-eyed hunting machine. And Mama gave baby owl a great big hug. See, she's giving him a big hug also. He's sure a huggable little owl. Baby Owl thought for a moment. But I am cute, said Baby Owl. I am, I am. Now he's pretty happy. Poor Baby Owl, said Mama, you're tired. It's bedtime for you. Mama tucked Baby Owl into his warm, cozy bed. She read him a story and Baby Owl drifted off to sleep. He's sound asleep there. See that? See that teddy, that little owl he has? It's not a teddy bear, is it? It's an owl. He has a stuffed owl to take to bed. You are so cute, baby owl, whispered Mama. For a huge, scary, sleek, sharp-eyed hunting machine, that is. Good night, baby owl. 
And now he's fast asleep. Do you see that? He looks pretty happy and content there, doesn't he? And that's the end of the story. He's pretty cute, I think. I would call him cute also. Well, now we're going to do a project. And we're going to make ourselves an owl. Look at the big eyes that an owl has. They have really big eyes, don't they? Okay, what you're going to need to make this owl is two paper plates. And then what you're going to do is you're going to either color it brown or paint it brown or you can use a marker to make it brown. But if you use paint, you're going to have to paint it ahead of time to let it dry. After it dries, then you're going to take one of the paper plates and you're going to cut it in half for his wings and glue it on the back side like this. Okay. Then what you're going to need is some shapes here. We're going to need a shape like this. That's kind of like a circle, isn't it? So if you want to use markers, you can do that. If you want to use paint and make your eyes, that's fine. I use construction paper, so I use one piece of yellow, and then I made some white construction paper eyes, and then I just used a marker to make the black. Okay? Then you want to glue your eyes onto the center there. Okay, then I made his beak and I made it out of a certain shape. I hope you know what shape that is. It's kind of upside down. If I go like this, you probably can figure it out better. But it is a triangle. So we're going to make a nose out of a triangle and use some orange construction paper or something orange, okay? And if you notice, I did kind of cut the paper plate to make the ears there. To, uh, but you can use it just round if you want. Whatever is easiest for you would be the best. Okay, and then when you're all finished gluing it and everything, you can hang it wherever you want. Sometimes if you take a paper punch and put a hole here, you can put a string on there and hang it for like in the fall time or when it's kind of neat for if Halloween's coming up, you could also use it for Halloween decoration also. But I hope you enjoy this project and nice reading to you today and I hope to see you again. Bye, have a great day.